speckled freckled legs, speckled freckled belly, speckled freckled face. Speckled freckled face is the hardest one to say. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from busy, busy Nassau. We oh. have two carnival ships out here joining us this morning. Yep, the Sunrise and the Conquest. And two Royal Caribbean ships. Freedom and Symphony. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we discussed stepping off the ship or staying on, and I think we're gonna step off the ship for a couple of minutes, take a yeah. look around the port. We haven't been here since they've redone it, and then possibly just head right back on our ship, maybe do some swimming, and. Finish exploring reflection because yeah. I still don't think we've covered all, everything yet. So we're back up in the Tuscan Grill specialty restaurant for the little Captain Club's breakfast. Got the cappuccino, some fresh fruit. Yeah, and almond little croissants that are really good. Yeah, and again, we are in the aft of the ship. It's a beautiful day in Nassau, and there's the bridge to Paradise Island over to the Atlantis Resort. You're gonna come to Nassau if you're cruising. It's just a busy port. It's just a regular stop for a cruise ship. Yeah. And I guess my biggest advice for NASA would be to book an excursion. Really? Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's it's a it, there's so many people at this port. There's lots of shopping. Um, there's some there's some food, senior frogs, you name it. They got the the regular stuff. The water is so nice here. The beaches are so great on this island. I think that would be my biggest tip is to book an excursion. Yep, get away from the port. Off. Yeah, get away from the port and see what you can see. Bahamas are beautiful, beautiful. I mean, this place was a mess yeah. for like the longest time. Construction, and so it's nice to see it all, all the wa all the walkways. Yes, this turned out really nice. But like all those little straw market huts. I have, think that straw market's probably still here. I can't picture them like. Well, no, the little huts that were right outside the port oh. are now like right here. You know, it's yeah. definitely a lot more organized and stuff. Yeah. So this is something else too that's brand new right here. We noticed there's, they got a whole new amphitheater. Got grass here. Oh. This was definitely not here the last time we were here. No. Got a stage up there and it's covered. Yeah. That's all new. Yeah, they have concerts out here and everything. I really like what they've done to the port. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, Tracy says, you know, it kind of leaves like a better taste in your mouth in Nassau when you come here because, I mean, you did kind of, you know, you went down, you exited the port and went right down the city street. It looks a lot more cleaner. Yeah. And honestly, the street is right there. If you wanted yeah. to exit the street and go down the street and see the straw market and see all the vendors and things like that. I mean, it's, it's right there. You could just walk right out of there and stuff, but. I think this this pink and this green building too. Those are new. Yeah. On here. Because they're senior frogs. Yeah, I see down that, down that way, where you normally had to walk the street to get down to there. Now you don't. You could just stay into this brand new Path port area. And keep, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, look at it. It's very new, very fresh. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. I'm happy we got off to see it. It does. It looks yeah, a lot I'm better. Too, yeah. Yeah. We spent just a little time in Nassau, and it was nice seeing all the new modern changes they have made. There were new shops and attractions, but the sun was shining, and this was our last day on board reflection. He's got a room made up and everything. Yeah, he was as fast as we were. I know. <laughs> we weren't even off the ship that long. But like we were saying, if you want to enjoy Nassau, it's probably 
I'm booking an excursion because the beaches here are beautiful. The water is beautiful. Um, and it's, you know, you hear a lot about people not getting off the ship in NASA for one reason or the other. But um, like us, I mean, we, this is a new ship for us. So we want to check it out and enjoy it. It's just a three-night cruise. So we're only on the ship for just a real limited amount of time. Yeah. So we're going to, what are we going to do? Head up to the pool deck, I think. Yeah, I think there's stuff we want to take advantage of while we're on this oh, ship. That Persian Garden thing. Yes. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Persian Garden. It's yeah. kind of like the thermal spa of. Right. It's Royals Thermal Spa. So, yes. Um, I guess they allow access to whatever we are elite. Elite members. Elite. Or sure. if you book the um, Aqua Class um, rooms on the ship, the Aqua Class Suites, I think they're called. Aqua Class, something or other. They allow you access to that Persian garden. So we're going to go check that out too. So that's more exploring to do. All right, we're in the Persian garden here on the celebrity reflection and if this looks familiar to you okay. it should it's like the thermal spa because it's just like the thermal spa yeah that we took advantage of on serenade with the beautiful windows looking out and the warm uh loungers uh -huh. and what's in there infrared sauna yeah is there one in there i don't know all right let's check it out the infrared sauna. Oh, it's warm in here. Well, Tracy would like this. It's warm in here. Oh, I love warm. It's like your type of warm, too. Oh, this does so good. Did yeah. you see now the MSC at Magnifica? Oh, no. It's now here? Oh, no. Maybe that so was we... while we were here in Honkin. It was oh, actually yeah. arriving. Okay, so we got an MSC ship. The MSC. So we have six. Magnifica? Six ships. Magnifica. Okay. We have six ships here now in port. Yeah, it's busy. Busy port. And it's always like this in Nassau. Yeah. You're, not, you're never here to like just two ships. I mean, I guess it could happen, man, but you are always in port with. Oh, look. What? Oh, it's it's like we're infrared. being toast. I know. Infrared. Yeah. It's basically we're like Pop Tarts right now. <gasps> oh, I love a good Pop Tart. Yeah. Like it's you be brown sugar cinnamon and I'll be frosted cherry. <laughs> Why can't I be frosted cherry? Because you don't like that one. You like brown sugar cinnamon. I do. Well, who doesn't like the brown sugar I cinnamon? Know. I do. I love all the windows in here too, just like how yeah, yeah. Had. It definitely helps. Yeah. But they have something that Serenade didn't have in their thermal suite. Which was a cold room. A cold there's yeah. a cold room in here? Yes. Like a refrigerator? Yes. Huh. I don't know if I'd enjoy that or not. I don't I don't know either. You know I don't like being cold, but I'm, I'm willing to try it. So what about your freckles? I never see them until I'm exposed to sun. Like I was pure white and now I got, I'm now white with speckles. The sun makes your freckles come out? Yeah. just literally left me in the freezing cold room to go fix his hair. Can you believe this? I'm only being cold and now he left me in here all by myself. And it's really cold. This is like out of the movie, Christmas story, like licking a frozen pole. Okay, we're here in the cold room in the Persian garden, right? Uh oh, here comes somebody. And it's just, it's bizarro. It's freaking cold. Yeah, and it's really freezing. I know. I know Tracy's not enjoying this one bit. What are you doing? Oh, do that. I like leave your mark in here. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't start. That's how cold it is in here. I mean, it's freezing. I'm, I think Greg should stick his tongue to the pole. Are you relaxed? No, I'm cold. I went out of here. <laughs> yeah, there's no. I don't know, this is not relaxing to my wife. I mean, she hates cold stuff and like, yeah, she can't be having a good time. So no. I think we're gonna go back out there. This is where it gets stuck and I have to go get assistance. There's something wrong with you. Okay. I used to do that all the time when I was scared. 
Okay, so we were hungry, and we came running back up here to the mass grill, mm -hmm. where we got the grilled hamburgers, and they also got hot dogs up here, and I see a little soft serve machine. But it was so good on yeah. uh, boarding day. I was like, I was getting hungry. I asked Tracy, I'm like, hey, you want one of those burgers from the mass grill again? She's like, yeah. So we came running yeah. up here. Grab a quick bite, because we're starving after spending so much time in the Persian garden. I literally fell asleep in there. It was so comfortable. Yeah, I, you, I dozed off too. Okay, as you know, Tracy and I are in a mini golf competition, one hole playoff, which we do on every cruise ship. But there's, there's no there's, mini golf there, here. There's no mini golf on Celebrity, but there is a nice natural grass area with putters and a hole. So, we're going to set up his own mini golf. Yeah, I got my little own mini golf hole going on. So we're going to do our best to make do. And it's on. Okay. Free gelato scoop and what flavor is that? Caramel. Caramel. I got raspberry. It's actually very good. And we're sitting up here on five overlooking the Grand Foyer. Is that what that's called? Yeah. So we did notice something. Being in the pool area and being in the spa area is that celebrity doesn't you don't have to check out towels mm -hmm. on Celebrity, which is nice. You could just, yeah, you see a, a towel, towel, you just grab it. But what we did notice throughout the day is that people are careless with their towels um, because you don't have to check them out or you bring them, them back. So they, you know, yeah. they get up and go eat and they just leave, they never come back and they just leave their towels on the chairs. Yeah. So you, the, you see the towels on the chairs here, I think more than being on oil. Uh-huh. Because they're not, have, they're not actually putting them in like the return bin. Yeah. Yeah. People don't need to turn in their towels. So they just leave them, get up and that's it. Well, the it, other thing I noticed too, is there's no lifeguards here at all. Not in any of the pools. Yeah. Not that I need one, but right. it's kind of nice to have one in case somebody does need one. Right. It's just, uh, the staff on the ship seems a little underwhelming yeah. at times. Yeah, I think we wait longer for things or like they're not as readily available. Yeah. Like everywhere you turn on Royal, there's somebody there ready to get you a drink or. Right, or even like tables not wiped off mm -hmm. when, yeah, I mean, several tables not wiped off when you're trying to sit down and things like that. I mean, honestly, we're not finding a ton of things. These are no. like just nitpicking, like just the yeah. little things that we're finding. Yeah, we're definitely but... nitpicking and doing a lot of comparison, but. Yeah, overall, we're having a fabulous time on here. I'd be more than happy to go back on another celebrity show. yeah i would book another celebrity for mm -hmm. sure I, I can tell you that i'm already there I, w I would book another celebrity i definitely would like to see what their other class of ship offers you want that, something bigger than this yeah the edge class you yeah. better first figure out where everything's at on this ship before i let you on another one because you've been lost <laughs> all weekend all right we found tonight's menu and is anything good on there Jerk huh? chicken, oh. home style pork chop. Aged prime rib of beef. That's prime got my, rib. That's got to be good. That's got my name all over it. What yeah. doesn't is this. Why? Why is beets? Beets on everything. <laughs> beets. Yeah, you do see that a lot. Coconut soup. Mm, I love oh. coconut, but not soup. French onion soup. And it's chilled. And why don't they put the desserts on there? I don't get I don't this know. separate dessert menu. Yeah, there's no. I don't know. Yeah. 
We like making our choices ahead of I know. ahead of time. Yeah. This way we're prepared when we get in there. Yeah. Now can't, can't handle the anticipation. No. Okay. I'm definitely right. going with that prime rib. Yeah, I think so too. That sounds good. As far as my starter though. No, no, no. I think no, French no. onion soup for me. Oh, are you going to go? Yeah, you have had bad, you like French onion soup, and I don't think you've had it. Yeah. I've had, I had escargot. Maybe I'm going to get the shrimp cocktail. Yeah, Okay, it's our last night on the ship, and we had a great day, mostly on the ship. Yeah. In Nassau, and uh, walked around a little bit. Came back on the ship. We definitely got some got got some sun today on the pool deck, and we're headed off to dinner. Uh, we took a peek at the menu. Was it prime rib? I think so. Yeah, I think it's prime rib. Dessert mystery, who knows, because they don't put desserts on the menu for whatever reason. I think you can see it on the app, but not on the actual menu. I don't know why they do that. I don't and know. Then, yeah, then so they maybe, gotta, it's a, maybe it's a mystery to them. Yeah, they've got to come around again and ask us what we want for dessert and bring a whole separate menu. Anyway, I, I'm no complaints. So far, they're doing the dining room pretty good. But um, we're off for some drinks right now, and we're going to take in a show tonight. Something, what's a show? I don't even know I what it is. I can't even remember what Something about it's a guy's birthday. That's all I know. Oh. So, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Something about it's, about it's a birthday surprise <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, we're off for drinks. and um, Take advantage of our elite status to get that free drink between <laughs> five and seven. Yeah. But I do have to note, today on the pool deck, we got, um, Greg got a lava flow and I got a mango, uh, mango daiquiri, which is... Typically what we get on the pool deck. That's what we do on Royal. Yes. And I wanted to get the same exact drink just to compare pricing. So normally we pay $28. It's like 14 bucks a drink. Yes. Plus they add 18% gratuity. So it turns out to be like $30 and some change. Yeah. Today we got the same exact drink. I don't know sizing wise if it was a smaller cup or a larger. I feel it's probably pretty similar on the yeah. cup size. But it was $10 Ten a bucks. drink. And they added 20% gratuity, so it turned out to be $24. Right. A lot a lot cheaper. Yes. So. so I was impressed with that. Even when we ha paid for a drink on here, it seemed to be less expensive. Yeah. So. But it, mine was way stronger. Uh, <laughs> so. All right. So we popped up to the Martini Bar for our pre-dinner cocktails. And they are called the what? Cure Royale. Cure Royale. It is raspberry liquor and champagne. Yes. Yeah. I think it might be too strong, but I'll give it a whirl. It's but always this, too strong for you. This, this bar is cool. All the alcohol sitting in like crushed ice in a in a trough. So yeah. It's yeah. got a neat look in here. Yeah, it's really cool looking. But, you know, since we're up here, we might as well go ahead and reveal the answers to our Greg and Tracy trivia. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the question was... Where did we take our first vacation? Was it A, Arizona, B, Texas, C, Florida, or D, Tennessee? Where did we take our first vacation? Well, we've been to all of those places together, but it was A, Arizona was the first vacation we did together. A, Arizona is right. Do you remember that vacation? We had a great time. We, we uh, did. We flew into Tombs. Uh, well, we flew into Tucson, and then we visited Tombstone, the old mining town. Yeah, and that's where I realized that even if a cactus looks soft, it's really not. And I ended up with a finger full of prickles. <laughs> that's right. Yep. I wanted to be a cowboy immediately after leaving that town. <laughs> and then we drove up to uh, Scottsdale in the Phoenix area, and we had a good time shopping, and dining, and you name it. And yeah. we were so young then, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we were just young, care carefree, wild, traveling the world. And look at us. We still are to this day, aren't we? Not so much young, but yeah. still traveling. Yeah, we're young. I don't know what you're talking about. With our Cure Royale. So that is the answer to Greg and Tracy trivia.
I got their French onion soup, and not only does it look like Royals French onion soup, it's like pretty much right up the park. Oh. Tastes good. I got a shrimp cocktail, but this is actually my uh, second helping of shrimp cocktail because <laughs> Greg took long, too long turning on the camera and I already had <laughs> devoured the first one. So I'm now moving on to round two. And he actually came and drizzled on the cocktail sauce. Yes. Too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Prime rib just shows up and it looks spectacular, don't it? Yes. Green beans and carrots and mashed potatoes. Here we come. Yeah. All right. This is it. Dessert on the last night of the cruise. This is the last food that we're going to see on the cruise. And it was cheesecake. Mm-hmm. And it was pick your own toppings. Yeah, which I did like. They had caramel, chocolate, strawberry. I think there was peach, passion fruit. So I like the, that they gave you choices, which I got the strawberry because I was yeah. trying to compare apples to apples. And I got caramel as well as strawberry. Why not? Yes, but I feel like this weekend we've done a lot of comparing. And so I feel like royal cheesecake is something that we normally always get. Uh -huh. So we kind of know, have a feel for that. Yeah. So this is it. We're going to enjoy our dessert. I got my coffee as usual with my dessert. And what do you think so far? Mm. First bite? Good. I am missing like the little strawberry on top, but <laughs> I don't care about the little strawberry on top. I do like the little strawberry, but that was a good first uh, bite. Yeah. This looks good though. So I'm diving into it. Packed all, packed all our bags already. Yeah. Put them out in the hallway. They're already gone. I know. This this cruise was quick. Yeah. I, I don't like these. They're too short. Yeah. These three nights, four night cruises, and they go by way too fast. What we need is a long seven night, eight night cruise. Yeah. That's what we need. But the name of the show tonight was called... Broken, Broken strings. strings, yeah. Yes. It did have a name, and uh, it was good. Yeah. It was really good. The entertainment on the ship has been... Really been, good. Yeah, very good. And yeah. They're very pleased with it. But all good things must come to an end, right? Mm -hmm. I know. And there we are. Just passing around Coco Cay, headed back to Fort Lauderdale. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but it's been a good cruise, and what yeah. do you think? Would you book Celebrity again? I most definitely would book Celebrity again. I would, too. I would, too. I wasn't, wouldn't hesitate at all. I'd love to see what mm -hmm. one of their bigger ships have to offer, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I'd book this again. Yeah, I've had a great time, and I went through and kind of made like a pros and cons list of different things and just was kind of nitpicking things, but there was nothing... Nothing like that was going to ever stop us from like not coming back on here again or that we didn't have a good time. So I think Celebrity has a lot a lot of things going for it. Yeah, for sure. The one big thing I would say about this weekend, though, is if you were bringing on little children, I don't think this is the ship. I feel like Royal just has so much more to offer for kids. Yeah, so, more, more fun, more activities for the kids. Yeah, there's no water slides on this ship. Yeah, there's no rock wall. No, you know, there's no flow riders. There's no putt putt course. There's, you know, there's yeah. a lot of things that I feel like this. Well, you said it. it it's more of a relaxing. Yeah, it's very been chill. Yeah, I, yeah, and I was down with chilling. Yeah, so you def, <laughs> you definitely <laughs> were down with chilling, <laughs> but. Well, we'll I mean, be back on Royal for our next one, and yeah. it will be for longer. So, yep, yep. So, we'll just have to look forward to that. So, until the next cruise, good night. I have never seen a cruise ship that close to us before in the open water. There's a carnival cruise ship right there. That carnival ship is so close to us.
I bet it was in port with us today. Yeah, I've never seen a ship that close to another cruise ship, like in the open water. Like if I had my five iron, I could take out the captain. <gasps> oh, <laughs> gosh. Look at our rooms. Our, our room looks all picked up and all that, but that's because we're all packed up and we have nothing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we still got a few things, but yeah. we're getting there. How's that celebrity robe for you? Uh, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's like very waffly. lightweight and waffly. Yeah, it's and, waffle and material. Like three quarter Short length sleeves. sleeves. It's kind of a not so great embroidery job. <gasps> See, the Royal Caribbean robe is all like plush and thick. Yeah, and, and long and, yeah. but we didn't have to upgrade to a junior suite or something higher to get the robe and we didn't have to request it because of status. This was already in here. It's already so, in there. And there's two more in there. He yeah, came I think he's already like ready for like us to leave. Yeah, is he trying to say, hey, you guys could keep those robes and take them home? Or? I'm sure for a charge, <laughs> we could keep these robes. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I'd want to keep this robe. No, they're not. They're they're kind of. The, what cheap. looks best is hold on. They gotta see what you <laughs> look like in it. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no, no, let them see what you look like in the robe. <laughs> Come on. Come on. They want to see. They want to see what you look like. Go away. No, no, no. I don't look bad in a robe. She's not making fun of me. I look weird in my robe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next cruise.